In this short video, we will learn about some of the advanced data structures in Python. We already know that variables are places where we store information, and we've already been dealing with variables and the kinds of strings, integers, floats, and booleans. And in learning about those variables, we use the analogy of the plastic container. So you take some information and you store it in the plastic container, you put the lid on, you write a label on the top so you know what's in that container, which you can then access later on and use whatever's inside it. Now, Python's more advanced data structures allow you to store multiple values in the one location. Now, there's three that we're going to be looking at. They are lists, tuples and dictionaries. But this video is just going to focus on lists. So if a variable, the analogy for a variable is a plastic container, in that case, an appropriate analogy for lists, tuples and dictionaries are kind of the pill containers. So the pill containers is one container but made up of a number of different sections and each section is labelled and can be accessed separately. So lists are a variable container that holds many data items in an ordered way. And when we say in an ordered way, we mean that we can access the data by referencing the section that it's stored in. So it's really useful for items which are somehow related. Um, maybe, for example, you might have a collection of names or items that you want to do shopping with. And so they could be put into a names list or an items list. And each list consists of two parts. It consists of a name and an index. The name is the container, is referring to the container you're talking about. And the index is referring to the section of the container that the item is stored in. So let's explain this concept of name and index a little bit further. Let's just say, for example, that my parents are over for um, dinner. And my dad says to me, where are the coffee cups? So I might say to him, okay, go into the kitchen and to the drawers to the right of the stove, go to the second drawer, and in there you will find the coffee cups. So what I'm actually saying there is I'm naming the drawers to the right of the stove, that's the name of the container, the name of the list if you want. Then I'm saying what position in that list, so what section in that list are the coffee cups in? So they're in the second item, or the second drawer, which is the second item on the list. So there's just one last thing that needs to explain about lists before we start doing the exercises. And that is about index numbers. So the pill containers normally have labels on them Sunday through to Saturday, and they refer to the actual days. Our kitchen drawers, they, you know, you normally refer to the drawer as the first drawer, the second drawer, the third drawer. So they have labels too. So lists have labels, the index, and they are used by numbers. But one thing to be really aware of is that all indexes always start at zero. So the first position in a list is index zero. The second one is index one. The third one is index two. So there is complicated computer reasons behind it. We won't go into those right now, but you just got to get into the habit of remembering that the very first item in a list is always index zero. Okay, that's it.